Hello everyone, today we're going to paint two scenes from one of my favorite movies as a child which was The Last Unicorn and I recently watched it again and was so inspired to recreate some of those scenes so let me know in the comments down below if you've ever watched this movie, do you know it and if so do you like it and now let's get started and paint those two scenes. I'm going to use acrylic gouache for this piece and I already made sketches in my sketchbook and I then picked out my colors and put them in a palette and now I started to put them on there and it was basically just coloring everything in and at first I wasn't really sure if it was gonna turn out good because I was just filling all of the shapes and uh, for the longest time these pieces didn't look like anything and honestly I've copied a few s scenes from different movies now mostly Studio Ghibli scenes I did a piece from Pocahontas so I've copied a few scenes already and I wanted this to be much more chill because in the past I tried to completely copy the scene stroke by stroke, tried to copy everything the best I could, especially with the Studio Ghibli scenes that I did. I was really being very meticulous, is that the word, about copying it essentially. And that made me feel terrible. It really didn't feel good at all. I had so much pressure on myself and I really wanted to do the pieces justice and yeah, it just was not a fun time. Even though the results look good, I mean, I'm happy with how they turned out. I did not have fun with those pieces whatsoever. So for this piece or these two scenes that I'm painting in this video, I decided to go and do it in a very, very different way. I've got some very, very exciting news today, which is two things. First of all, my gouache course is finally out and you can buy it on my online shop and I've made it pretty affordable to start out with. I might increase the price later on, we will see. And there you can find step by step how to paint a gouache landscape. It's much quicker than all of my YouTube tutorials and you will really learn how to recreate this piece. The second thing that I have for you today is that I finally offer prints now on my online shop and those are very high quality cards and I've picked one of some of my favorite paintings to start out with and if those sell well I might do even more prints. So go ahead and check out my shop and get yourself some prints. There's also, they're a little bit cheaper now because I'm doing this kind of launch period so now's the best time to get this get the course get the prints maybe get some stickers if you want to and just check out the link to my website in the description box below so now that I'm done with the shameless self-promotion let's continue with the video so I wanted to be kind to myself here and really wanted to let loose and not pressure myself to completely copy the scene so if you compare the pieces you can t you can clearly see a few differences it's not completely the same thing um, the colors are maybe a little bit different and also the composition I just had a different uh, frame my sketchbook doesn't have the same uh, format as the reference picture and I just did not want to cut it I wanted everything on there so I squished everything a little bit together it's like when you're taking a picture of people and you tell them they have to move closer to each other so you squish them together to get them onto the picture that's exactly what I did with all of those trees and especially with the foreground elements and I just filled everything in right there and I did not want to completely copy it I was looking at the reference I'm here to learn something and 
maybe incorporate a few things into my style that I really like, but I'm not here to pressure myself to do this perfect master study. I know a lot of artists swear by master studies and you have to study the great artists and most of them are white men from the past. I mostly don't care about their art. I mean, there are a few impressionist artists that I think that great things that I admire, but I'm mostly not that interested in that, but hey, here's my version of this. I pick movies with beautiful scenes and I paint those and those are kind of my master studies where I learn something and maybe um, improve my style and pick something that I can incorporate into my style and just learn something new and learn about colors and composition and for me personally what I learned here mostly was the details when you look at this rock tree formation thing on the left it has so many doodles on it and all of the grass parts there were so many little details i didn't even include all of them because there were so many there are the dots and the lines and the kind of leaves that are spread and all of these half circles and I really love that. I think it's very charming. It adds a lot to the scene. It's not completely flat anymore. Here you can see more of those. And I think that really made the piece come to life. And I would really love to use that in my own style from now on. Maybe not completely the way it is here, but just in my own way. And we will see how I will do it, if I will do it like that or completely differently. But I'm sure that I learned a lot about this kind of style while I was copying it. And I just really love to kind of watch movies, admire them and see how they were made. Because when you just watch a movie, you don't look at all of the details. But when you take a screen cap and copy it, then you will learn a lot. And I watched the movie recently and I've always loved The Last Unicorn. Even though I have to admit that now watching back at it, the storyline is a little bit weird. So now we're going to start the second painting and I really like that I picked two paintings that are very similar in a way and have a very similar color scheme. And both of these are from more of the beginning of the movie when the unicorn is still in the woods and you can see all of those landscapes and that's just the prettiest part of the movie to be honest. Um, but like I said, I think the storyline is a little bit weird and honestly, now that I've watched so many Studio Ghibli movies, I think it's actually quite similar in a way because it has this weird feeling like you are in a dream and it's kind of a mixture of a good dream and maybe a little bit of a nightmare and that's the same feeling that I get from most Studio Ghibli films, especially the ones like Spirited Away where you feel kind of weird sometimes and you don't really completely understand what's going on, at least that's how it is for me. But um, yeah, th this, these are the movies that probably have the most beautiful art in them and I really admire especially the landscapes. I'm not so interested in the characters, I have to admit. I mean, I like The Last Unicorn and the way that it looks, but the backgrounds and the landscapes are more what I am interested in artistically. And I think I'm really starting to find where I want my style to go, even though I don't have a real style yet, I think. But quite honestly, I'm sure that other people... When they look at my art, they can kind of see a little bit of cohesion. Is that the 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 word cohesion? Cohesiveness? I don't know. I'm sure that others can tell that there's something that all of my art pieces have in common. And mostly that's color. I really love colors and I would never want to do black and white art. 
I just love colors so much and I've now decided to focus a little bit more on gouache again because lately I haven't done a lot of gouache pieces and I really want to get back into it using my acrylic gouache as well as water soluble gouache and you can already find a lot of that on my channel but I'd love to do a bit more in the future also to kind of promote my new gouache course so it's very fitting for the theme that I'm now gonna go with and I think that my style if I ever find a finished style that I want to stick with would be very similar to the pieces that I'm doing here to be honest what I really love are the different layers and the shapes and um, the illustration and that it isn't realistic but it's not completely cartoonic. I think when I look at this compared to where I want to go, I would probably go into a little bit more realistic, but I'm not completely sure yet. But I think that it's much harder to create an illustration that does not look realistic versus to just pick a picture and copy it as best as you can. I mean, of course, copying and realistic art, it takes a lot of skill and I don't think I can recreate completely realistic art. So I think that's very hard. But to be honest, what I admire much more are people who can simply things which is actually not that easy it might look more simple but I think that that's much much harder and I really admire it when people have this style where you can clearly see hey this is not completely copied from a photo or from real life but they have clearly thought about it and stylized it and created a composition and I think that's so much harder than just copying and I would love to do more of that and right now I am copying I'm copying movie scenes but I'm kind of learning and really learning to use this illustration style and I'll probably do more of these studies to learn that even more but I'll also probably do more of my own art where I try to learn how to do this myself as well and not just copy and I think when you're really I think you're kind of really there as an artist crossing the finish line in a way when you are creating your own pieces I think that's its own thing and I think that's so much harder and at first you kind of have to practice you have to copy you have to go from somewhere but then I mean I'm not saying don't use reference pictures but I'm trying to make them my own and to change them up in the way that I think hey this is my thing that I made and not just something that I copied so here you can see me adding in the finishing touches I'd love to hear your thoughts about this do you like this movie do you like seeing people recreate movie scenes and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel don't forget to check out my shop and I will see you next time goodbye So, now I'm done with the shameless self-promotion, let's move right into... And let's start right 